Hi, I'm Andy with EcoChan. Here we are with batch number 45 of the EcoCha Tea Club. And this month's batch is a heavy roast competition grade Dongding Oolong tea uh, that was prepared for the Fenghuang Yonglong uh, community uh, competition, which is the community adjacent to Dongding Mountain. The village of Jiang Yachun is in uh, Dongding Mountain. So those three villages are the only people that are allowed to participate in this competition. In other words, you have to have a resident, uh, residential address in those villages in order to uh, sign up for the competition. Uh, so Jiang Yachun, Fenghuang, and Yonglong are the original uh, farming villages that have the most history in uh, producing and, and making Dongding Oolong tea. This competition was uh, created to stand uh, in noticeable contrast to the Lugu Farmers Association, which uh, evolved its quality standard over the years um, for various reasons. And, it, and they continue to fluctuate slightly uh, from year to year. Um, and that's a longer in-depth story. But uh, comparatively, the Fenghuang Yonglong community co competition uh, is said to be more traditional and it's definitely a heavier roast that is the standard for the competition. So uh, this batch uh, was harvested on the same day of a batch that was entered. Uh, basically this batch is a part of a batch that uh, attained Dan Jiang, which is the top 2% of overall participants. There were uh, about 750 participants in this spring 2019 competition. And so the tea that was harvested uh, on this same day that uh, of this batch was entered, uh, basically the only difference between the, the top 2% prize winning tea and this one is that they were roasted separately. You can only put so much tea in, in an oven at one time. Uh, but the leaves, uh, the stems were removed carefully and it was prepared just in the same way as the award-winning batch. Uh, this is our farmer, uh, our regular source of Dongding Oolong tea. And uh, the only difference really between our regular ongoing batches of tea that we source with them and this batch of tea is that this batch is significantly more roasted and the stems have been removed. Um, but our current spring stock of tea is from the same harvest as this tea. Uh, just less pretty, you might say, or, and also uh, lower, roast, uh, lower level of roasting. I just put 9 grams of tea in a 135 milliliter teapot. Uh, so close to the 1 to 15 ratio, that's our standard recommendation for most oolong teas. And then uh, I'll have to be a little bit careful with the time because that's pushing it in terms of the ratio, I think. Roasted, heavily roasted teas, you can often put less tea leaves per water and still get the, the flavor that you're looking for. Almost like a pumpernickel bread coming off. The, 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 the one thing that requires uh, people are to give it a little bit of background. Uh, some people criticize the standard, uh, the current standard for this competition, thinking that the roast level is too high. But the only uh, shortcoming in that perception is that it's not really the roast level, it's pushing leaves that haven't been oxidized sufficiently to a higher level of roast. Then all you're going to taste is pure roast. But when the leaves are sig uh, significantly oxidized, you uh, get a balance of the sweetness of the oxidation with the, uh, the kind of, uh, that kind of bitey, uh, roasty uh, character that comes from a heavy roast. But if you don't have the oxidation, you're just going to get roasted flavor. And that's uh, not that interesting, or at least relatively less interesting than a traditionally made tea that's kind of pushed to uh, its limits in the roast factor. These leaves are very carefully roasted as well. Uh, we will see uh, in the blog posts uh, that I will compose that these brewed leaves they still have a good amount of green to them. They're very supple. They're not hardened uh, 
leaves that result from being put under high temperatures for long periods of time. So you, it's, it's kind of surprising how much roasty flavor comes from leaves that still look quite fresh and are still quite supple. So it's this combination, it's, it's, it's a lot like a, a, a fire roasted yam where it gets a little bit, uh, the skin gets a little burnt but there's so much sweetness and concentrated flavor inside. Uh, or uh, butternut squash, you know, put barbecued squash, that kind of just a little smokiness and the roast factor combined with a dense sweetness that brings uh, the spectrum of flavor uh, wider. So you have this roast and the sweetness balancing out each other. It's a really nice color, uh, dark, uh, rusty orange, you might say, um, very transparent. That's one of the factors that uh, is assessed in the competition. The actual luminosity, the uniformity of the flavor throughout the cup, they would be doing it in a bowl so it's even more obvious. Really nice uh, composition there. Hmm. Very hearty, really nice. Uh, like I've said it already twice, but it's the balance of roast and sweetness that brings uh, just this very satisfying uh, flavor to the palate and the nose too. Mm. The third brew is really coming through here, really balanced. The roast is obvious, but it's more that complexity that comes with, uh, there's tangy and sweet and very thick, uh, viscous brew, very smooth, really smooth on the palate. There's just enough bite. Like I said, I'm pushing it now. I've, I've been talking a lot, so that's going to be a quite a strong brew. But the roast brings that kind of dry finish to it that allows for a lingering aftertaste and that feeling in your throat. Um, it's summertime now, but this tea can still be enjoyed. It's even more enjoyable, in my experience, uh, in colder weather. So if you can, hold on to a bit of this tea uh, for the fall months or even winter. And within si in six months from now, uh, it'll be mellowed and just uh, be even more balanced than it is now. So there you have it. Uh, heavy roast competition grade Dongding Oolong Tea from the Yonglong community in Lugu Township, Nanto County, Taiwan, spring 2019. Uh, please let us know what you think by leaving comments on our blogs uh, and, and or our YouTube tasting video. Subscribe to the video, share it with your friends so that they can know uh, about the teas that we share with you. Um, we appreciate the opportunity to share what excites us and uh, we do believe that there are a lot more people out there that would appreciate it as well. So help us spread the good news. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you next month.